Tomorrow. What's up? Hello. What's going on? Thank you. Thank you, guys. I, uh, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I want to share something that I finally got to witness that I've prayed my entire life that someday I would get to see. And three weeks ago, barrel, three weeks ago, I finally got to see it live. I finally got to see someone get hit by a car. Yeah. Nailed. I'm standing at the corner. I see the guy coming down the street. He's got his Walkman on. He's doing this little thing right here, right? I don't know what you're listening to that makes you walk like this. Maybe just maracas. Maybe he's just listening to maracas. The car starts coming down the street. I see the car. I see the guy crossing with the do not walk signal. When I see the car coming, right away I'm like, yeah. Yes, here we go. This guy gets hit right here. Best place to get hit because it makes your body flop around like a dead monkey. Yeah. He starts doing combo moves from Tekken, right? He looks like Eddie Gordo in the air all of a sudden, okay? His shoes flew off, okay? He's in the air, and I want to say something before I go any further. I tried to help. I'm serious. I did try to help this man. As the car was coming towards him, and he was crossing, I, I went like this. I went, ah! Uh. I reached towards him with uh, jazz hands. And I said, ah, uh, that's all I could say. I wanted to say other things. I wanted to say, you're about to get struck by a vehicle. And I didn't have time to say you're about to get struck by a vehicle. So I went with, ah, uh, and I reached toward him. Guy gets hit, shoes fly off. I laugh. But here's the best part, right? This is how the guy lands on the other side of the car, okay? He flips through the air, he comes down, he hits on his feet, jumps, okay? And he starts walking around embarrassed. He's trying to play off like he didn't get hit by a car. Awesome! The people, the people near him were like, oh my God, are you all right? Are you okay? He's like, yeah, no, seriously, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I'm totally good. No, you should sit down. You're bleeding from the ears. I know, I know. I do that every couple of weeks. I empty the blood out of my own head. It's something I do. Has anyone seen my shoes? I kicked them off in a fit of joy. I'm going to go over here and uh, puke shards of my own pelvis out. I'm cool, though. I like being a stand-up comic. It's the best job I've ever had. There's other things that I want to do. When you're a kid, you have little gay dreams of all the things that you want to be. Right? When you're little, you have all these things you want to be. Then you grow up. Right? And you finally become whatever it is. I want to be a cop for a little bit, officer of the law. That's one thing I wanted to be. Those cops in Florida, they're in trouble. They shot at a guy 11 times because they claimed the guy had a grenade. That's why they shot at him 11 times. The guy was eating a pear. <laughs> How do you screw that up? Unless he was eating a pear like... <laughs> Here's a sound I would say 87% of you probably hate that I think is fantastic. I like when it's late at night and uh, I'm in bed, right? And I'm cozy, I'm watching Justice Files, which is my favorite show, right? Of course, you know why I love it? Because I love justice. And I love files. And when the two come together, I can blow a justice load. Okay? Oh my God, files and justice. Shut your lips. But I like when you're laying there, cozy, all of a sudden outside you hear a car alarm go off for like 43 minutes. You're just laying... That's my favorite part right there. In fact, I am so pumped when I hear one that sometimes I uh, write lyrics. I wrote lyrics. Yeah. Now when I hear one, I stand on my bed sing my song. Hello?
you laugh at that or not, next time you hear that, you're gonna be like, <laughs> that Dan Cook is a silly bitch. I gotta get out of here. Thank you very much.